I believe that I'm both passionate about aviation and teaching. And I think you need to have both because it's not enough to be an instructor here without being passionate about teaching. When you have clients who come here and they're at the very beginning of their career, and this is their first regional airline job, and there's something that is satisfying when you help them through it and you get over any little hurdles that they may have had along the way in training, and then they succeed. So when they succeed, we succeed. Personally, I think my best skill is adaptability. I could teach you the same thing 65 different ways. You have to connect on a human level. This is because there are so many variables when you're teaching someone, and some of them are very subtle. And you have to make that person feel like you are working with them. But if I was just talking to you and telling you what I know, that's not instructing, that's lecturing. So you have to know the subject very well, but you also have to make the people love the subject that you're teaching. And that's, that's the real skill. And you either have it or you don't. I like to interact with people. I like to know what is their background. Uh, get to know them personally so that it's easy to communicate. If there is no boundary, there's good communication, you can part with knowledge much easier. Training is not only about delivering knowledge to students, it is also about listening to the students and adapting the training to their needs. You don't have to be a very good pilot to be a good instructor, and a good instructor isn't necessarily uh, the best pilot. So those are very different skills. The most important thing to pass on to your students is to let them know you're a team. You work towards the same goal and in the end you have the same goal because they want to pass their uh, license uh, proficiency check or their skill test. And in the end as an instructor you want, basically want the same. The one time you want to be uh, the shoulder to cry on and the next time you have to say, hey, this was not so good. So uh, be fierce on the content but soft on the person. And that's why communication skills become a very important skill as well. An airline basically wants fully competent pilots. By doing the training with an organization like ours, they can be more confident that the person sitting in that seat is as prepared as they can be. It's not about me when they're here. They have to get through their rides, they have to be successful, they've got to learn the material. So we have to make sure that it is us adapting to the clients. So at the end of the day, we have to make sure that the training is more than just what happens in our building here. They have to be ready to handle real world scenarios and make it a safe flight for everyone. All instructors that I've ever met love to learn new stuff. And if they learn new stuff, they have to teach someone else to show you how this airplane performs and how you do the procedures. Everything I use is just a tool. And the better the tools are, the easier my job will be to convey that point to you. How you teach one person is entirely different to how you teach another person. That can be quite challenging when you've got eight people in the room because everyone's learning differently. And you have to then keep coming in at different angles so that they get it and, and really make it interesting for them to, um, for them to absorb by training them the right way from day one and then maintaining that same standard right through the training, you know that you're gonna have a good product at the end.